Hey guys, this is Dave from Vortez. Welcome to another video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sabretooth P67 from Asus. And this is taken from the Tough series or the Ultimate 4 series, which you'll have first saw on the P55 chipset last year. It's a new series that represents the professional solution from Asus. And as your name suggests, Tough, it's going to be robust, it's going to be uh, durable, and of course it's going to be tough. Uh, so it's going to meet the demands of professionals putting it through its paces and uh, the Ultimate 4 series is going to slot between the mainstream and the premium segments so you're going to be able to get high quality components, um, high performance but at a mid-range price point. So the Sabre 2 P67 is the next transition to the P67 chipset. You'll have seen a lot of pictures around the web of this particular board behind me but if you haven't already seen them Basically, this board is unlike anything you've seen before. It's got unique styling, it's got a unique design to it. It carries this, uh, what Azus term, the tough tactical vest. And this is a plastic cover that conceals all of the uh, components on the motherboard, except for your ports, your lanes, and the CPU socket. And uh, the idea behind this is really that it's going to be combined with something like this, which is the Noctua C14. And this is a top flow designed cooler, so the airflow would go uh, vertically uh, down through the motherboard and across the chipset. And the idea is really that this is going to become a, a much more efficient way of cooling the components and directing airflow. So, um, what we'll do now is We'll just go on a quick unbox, I'll take you uh, through the box, show you what's included with this and uh, we'll show you the features, take off this tactical vest, see what's underneath and uh, eventually we'll put a, an article on the website and we'll see if this tactical vest is actually an efficient way of uh, cooling the motherboard. Okay so we've got the Sabretooth P67 now out of the anti-static bag. And if you haven't seen the Sabretooth P55, then this will be something that you've never seen before. Never seen anything like it before. There's um, obviously the thermal armour on top here, and that's plastic. That covers the entire motherboard, except for your major sockets. So your uh, PCI Express, uh, your DDR3, which I'll just take off, and uh, your CPU socket, and obviously all the headers, so USB headers, fan headers and things like that. And even the input output panel has a nice little bridge going along the top of it just to give it that added protection. So there we have the uh, heatsink design, we have a very rugged looking uh, military style, military grade heatsink and uh, underneath there we have an 8 plus 2 phase power design and that's covering the MOSFETs there and obviously the socket is 1155 but that also takes 1156 coolers so if you've got one of those That'll still fit, the uh, the fitment is exactly the same. We have 8 pin power there. And plenty of headers for the fans. We have two here. Another one there. At the bottom of the board too. With regards to the memory configuration, we have the four different uh, lanes for DDR3. So we can put in 1066 all the way up to 1866 megahertz. We have a USB 3 header there, which is located next to the serial ATA sockets. Um, Zeus don't actually provide a bracket for that, so you will have to get one of those yourself. But that will just slot into there. And that will give you USB free functionality on the front of your case. And looking at the storage options, we have the uh, 
two white 6G ports for the serial ATA, two brown ports which are another two 6G ports, and the four black ones are indeed 3G. There are plenty of USB 2 options on this board. We've got the three headers which will give six USB 2 ports. And then further around on the input output panel, we have a further eight USB 2 ports over there. Lots and lots of options. Looking at the PCI Express options, we've got the three ports for one times and two bigger ports for 16 times. That's if you're running on a single card. But if you're going to run dual cards, so Crossfire or SLI, then you will have to run those in eight times. And then at the bottom there we have the legacy PCI port. Turning our attention to the input output panel then we've got the the first thing is the PS2 keyboard or mouse followed by two USB 2 ports and then another two USB 2 ports in the red colour eSATA then SPDIF optical port for audio another two USB 2 ports a further two USB 2 ports and a firewire connector slot there eSATA in the green then we have gigabit LAN we've only got one of those uh, USB 3 in the blue colour and then we have 8 channel audio which is provided by Realtek 892 ok guys I've extracted all the screws that hold in this thermal vest underneath we have 8 screws holding it in which are just these smaller types and then we have this centerpiece which is held in by the uh, the bigger screws uh, there's four of those so you just remove that and this allows you to remove this cover if I can get it off it can be a little awkward at times but there we go that's that's the uh, thermal vest off Essentially that's just a plastic cover, it gives you extra protection but also uh, improves the airflow. So I'll just give you a close up of this board now. So this is with the thermal vest off, you wouldn't usually see these components underneath. Okay, so that concludes our video pretty much. Looks like to be a, a very good board. It's totally unique in its design, in its styling, and uh, obviously this is directed towards the professional. Ideally going to be for someone who has it perhaps on a test bed and uh, that sort of situation. Uh, but what we'll do now is I'll uh, obviously be testing this against other P67 motherboards giving you the verdict with the uh, gaming benchmarks and uh, all the other benchmarks such as Sysoft Sandra, uh, Aedis64 and things like that, 3D Mark 11. So if you just uh, keep your eyes on vortez.co.uk we'll have a fully uh, published article very soon. Thanks very much for watching as always and uh, please subscribe where you can, uh, like and also comment because it's always great to hear feedback on the videos but also feedback on the products that we review too so thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming soon